This is the second time that I've uploaded this video. I probably should have given a better disclaimer at the beginning because I did see a lot of comments from people saying that dogs shouldn't be sitting upright like this product does. By the way, in this video, I review a dog safety harness for cars uh, that was pretty viral like a couple years ago. I'll include the entire video. I was seeing some comments from people saying, I don't think the dog should be sitting upright like that. I think it probably puts some pressure on their spine. Um, I'm not sure it's safe for them. And I agree with all of you. Like to, to give you the review up front, I did try this and I do spend, the video is 30 minutes long. And I do spend a majority of that time sort of describing that I'm not sure that this product is right for me or my dogs and that this is what they currently sit in. And I mean, if we're being frank and honest, this isn't even safe for them in a car accident. A car isn't even safe in a car accident. You know, like we're just trying to do the best that we can. And if ever there is a new product that comes out, I am, dying to try it because I'm always in the pursuit of hoping to find something that makes my dogs safer, happier, more comfortable. And I know although this product looks ridiculous, you know, there was some information that made me feel like maybe it's worth a try. So big disclaimer, please. I am not endorsing this product in any way, shape or form. I already decided along the video that maybe for like a fun, putting the backpack straps on and carrying Peachy around for a little bit, maybe this is okay, but that this is not a product that I will be using ever again, probably for my dogs. I'm not telling anybody else what to do, and I promise you there is about 30 seconds in this video, I think, how long is? 20 seconds. 20 seconds maybe. We drove like up the street, and that's how long they were in their harnesses for, and out of context, I understand that clip was like, maybe they're a little stressed out, okay? But please believe that I would never put my dogs in a stressful situation for any extended amount of time. Like, I, that is not what I'm trying to do. I wanted to try a product that was on the market, that was available to me, and it's never my intention to spread any misinformation or to tell you how to have dogs in a vehicle. I feel terrible that anybody thought that, and I, I should have done a better job in the beginning of the video letting you know for sure that this is not a product that I will be using. So I wanna make that very clear. I hope you understand and can relate to, if you're a pet owner, the idea of seeing something and buying it and trying it and deciding, my dog hates this. And I think a good example of that is Bunny, when she hurt her foot, when they, she, you know, a dog goes to the vet and they put a cone on her head. And when we took her home, she instantly ran into a wall and almost broke her own neck. Like she was so terrified of it. So something that works for many, many dogs doesn't work for every dog. And there's no possible way for you to know what your dog will respond to positively or negatively. I did not make any claims in this video about this product or what it does or what it doesn't do. All I know is that it's just not right for me and I just wanted to try it out. So I hope you understand my intention in this video and that I'm literally not trying to upset anyone or upset my dogs or put them in a situation that's stressful or harmful to them. I'm trying to be a responsible dog owner, but I'm also trying to be a responsible person on this internet. Sometimes when I say things like, I'm doing a product review, that means something to me, which is like, okay, it's I didn't invent it, I didn't make it, I'm not endorsing it, I just wanna try it, you know? Um, but that's not abundantly clear to everyone. Sorry, we have a visitor. Um, my intention, purely and wholeheartedly, was if there is a safer, better alternative to riding in a vehicle, I would love to know what it is and I would love to try it. You know, my goal is to always have them be as safe and as happy as possible. So I hope that you understand that. And if after I've uploaded this explanation, as well as the video in context, please see it in context. Um, you're, you still do not see this as something that I should have on the internet, then please let me know and I will gladly take it down, but I am happy to give you an explanation as to the context of the video and that it is a product review. This is not my product. I did not invent it. I do not endorse it, and that's that. So, you know, my first and probably last product review, so 
turns out I'm not cut out to be the MKBHD of dogs. Anyways, here's the video. Hi, I'm the MKBHD of reviewing dog products. That was a different jingle. Are you proud of me? It sort of went down and then up. No, it was exactly the same. Oh, Fufa! Hi! Oh, she's a baby. Hello, baby. I filmed most of this video yesterday, and the whole, like, first, I don't know, five clips or so got corrupted, which, I don't know, we do this all the time, and it's never happened. So I apologize for that, and I apologize for this being a little disjointed, but I think it's actually a good thing, because now today is the next day, and... What in the world? Fresh new day to start, right? So the the clips where we're actually trying this product, uh, you'll see that are yesterday. I tried to fool you into thinking maybe it's the same day by wearing the same hat. Uh, are, are you fool. Are you fool? <laughs> I'm doing something a little different today. I am going to be the MKBHD of reviewing dog products. Obviously, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money because years ago, this product came out and sort of went viral all over the place because it, it looks hilarious. And so a lot of people tweeted it at me. A lot of people were like, please try this when it comes out. And then I remember trying to purchase it years ago and I couldn't, I think it was like, I don't know, can a product be in beta? Like the equivalent of like being on Kickstarter and needing funding or that kind of thing. And then it was on Shark Tank and I checked it out again and it was available for purchase. So I promptly bought three of them in extra small and two mediums for the Iggy's because it has you measure from their collar to their tail. And it's basically a car harness where the dog is sitting completely upright. I'll show you a, a picture. It's called Zugo Pet Rocketeer Pack, and your dog sits like this in the car. And there's a whole bunch of selling points. I don't wanna reiterate any of them because I'm not trying to make any claims. So if you'd like to check out the product, you can. I basically was interested because I, like many of you guys, are always looking for dog products that might make my dog's lives better. This is what I have currently. This is what we use for the dogs. Yes, I paid extra to have it embroidered to say cats on it. In fact, I paid for it to say cats only and it came like that, so I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, I bought this, I don't know, six years ago and it was just for Kermit in marbles. The way that this type of thing works, thank you Kermit for demonstrating. The seatbelt like straps across the bottom here and you buckle it into the seat. And then there are harnesses. There's a toggle that goes around the seatbelt and then you, you put them in the, their harness like this and they're strapped and toggled <laughs> to the seatbelt though. So it's not that they're just sitting in the bed. They are they're attached separate. to the seatbelt. But that's our current system. All three of them usually sit in here. This takes up like the entire back seat of the car. It's up high so they can see out. Marble usually likes to sit up here somewhere like pushed against the, the seat so he can be even higher. And then we even have one like this for if we just have one dog going with us somewhere. This is, Peachy come here. This is usually just for Miss Weech when she goes on trips with daddy. This is what I use. Genuinely, they enjoy this, I enjoy this. It keeps us safe, it keeps them safe. You know, we are people that have been in a serious car accident and before and it's something that I genuinely fear. Like if we're in the car with the dogs, you know, I want them to be as safe as possible. So if someone comes out with a product, <laughs> even if it looks like that might be mildly uncomfortable for my dog, I don't know, maybe they'll like it. I don't know, like you just never know. You know, is my dog gonna like this? Is he gonna sit like that? I don't know. So it, to me, it's worth a try. Most of us, when we buy products for our dogs, you are kind of under the assumption like this could be for nothing because it's all up to your dog and what they like and what they respond to. Also, because I know you're going to ask anyways, this product is only for dogs up to 25 pounds. So this is not a bunny product. No bunnies allowed. I, <laughs> she's the size of a, of a person. So... If there is a product like this, it's called sit upright and buckle your seatbelt. So I'll show you the footage that we did yesterday of them being in the car and uh, <laughs> yesterday was a day. <laughs> Here you go. How many dum-dums does it take to put a dog in a car harness? Connect the top support anchor number three. Where's that? We, this is already done for us. Pull the top support anchor number three under the headrest. So this is gonna go under the headrest okay. and pull this over. Something, something, something. So we have to figure out how to install this. Oh, 
Maybe I had it backwards. Here you go. For use, measure your pet and put the harness on them. We can do that. Put the harness on your dog and adjust the size to fit. Mama, Mama, you're gonna be a Ninja Turtle. We're gonna try our very best. Here you go. I'm gonna put your arm through, honey, okay? And put this arm through, okay? Thank you, Peach, for the kisses. That's so nice. You look like a little tortoise. Wow. Ooh, does your tail go through here? He looks like a secret agent. Right? Like, it looked way too long for him, but now that he's in it, it looks absolutely perfect. Oh, Mama. Bobby, are you all right? Is it heavy? Look at you go, bud. This is a lot of hardware for a guy your size. I feel like they might have adjusted this, like, to our measurements, because that fits him, like, pretty perfectly. So, from what I just read, it seems like that big thing goes against the back. First, you Velcro them to the seat, and then you strap the seat belt like across them. Are you ready? It's gonna be fun, bud, okay? And if you hate it, you just let me know, all right? Because we do have a car seat for you. But what are you doing with your tail? What's going on? That's a lot, that's a lot of butt action, honey. No, you're not pooping. Like spreading his cheeks. Marble, you're not pooping. You're not pooping. He thinks he's pooping. Marble, Marble. Marble. stop pooping. Wow, good girl. Don't worry, Carm, I got you one too. Wow, look at that. So nice and snug. Okay, pull your little creepy tail through. Good job. All right, see what you're doing with your body right now is making it difficult to tell where I should put this. No, don't do that lowercase n thing with your body. That looks good, honey. What do you think? All right, don't, don't be weird about it, okay? It's totally normal. Okay, I'm your turn. What do you think, bud? Huh? The harnesses all fit really nicely. Yeah, they do. Especially since they have such unique body shapes. Yeah. All right, you guys are looking great. You guys looking tacti cool? You still shiver about it, okay? Everything's fine. Oh, you're shivering. Peachy, everything's fine. Wanna go to the car and we can figure out how to do this? Yeah. All right. Should Marble be in the middle is my question? Yes. Okay. Yes. I agree. This at the bottom says, when you're comfortable with the above process, adjust the tummy strap to fit your pet after practicing with a stuffed animal or pillow, and you can introduce them slowly to the process. Each pet will adjust at its own pace, so reward them frequently and be patient. But it also says don't feed them in it, because they might choke, so. You can reward them with praise. <laughs> Kermit loves praise. How these buckles are like so heavy duty. This is definitely the right way. I think, does this go to this? Please help. Julian, you're the dad, so you gotta help us install the car seat. That was about as fun as installing three car seats, so, you know, we had a great time. But basically, it really, they came, like, intact, kind of, like, we didn't have to put all the buckles together because they already came like that. You essentially strap it in like a car seat, like, you put these in the hooks underneath the seat, and then Julian will show you in the back, they, like, latch into the car seat latch back there, and they just sit here like this, like... They're good to go. Now with this one, with marbles, there's no hook here. There is a bigger one I think we can feel underneath there, but I think for right now, we're just gonna try and see if it even fits, if it even works before we do a bunch of hardcore adjustments in the car to, to latch that underneath, but his is latched in the back. So we might have to figure this out in the future if he likes this or if it's something that works. I think right now we're just trying to see if that's safe. But the Iggy's are both like double latched. Like these are... <laughs> They're in there. He's all ready to go. I'm gonna just show the back and then we'll get the dogs. Yeah. Down here we have the, like the back strap of the car seat anchored in. And it goes up there. Same with this one. Same with that one. I'm just so a little confused about all these like big buckles. I don't, they don't go anywhere. So, um, now we go get the dogs and see if they'll sit. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Little tactical dogs. What should we do first, Baba? Marvel, you wanna go first? All right. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> all right, are you ready, Miss Weech? Are you ready to get strapped in? All right, we gotta support your bottom. Here you go. And you go under, under here. 
Oh, we gotta make this bigger. All right, this is gonna take some adjustment, Peachy, so be patient, okay? Ready? Thank you. Head in, Peachy. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. Can you give it a hugger? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I gotta... Her Velcro has to go into the... Wait, but they're the same type of Velcro. I don't understand. This Velcro is the same as that Velcro, so how does she strap it? Oh, you have to take that off. Oh. Place your dog against the Rocketeer pack connecting the harness back Velcro to the car seat. But they're the same type of Velcro. It's soft Velcro and soft Velcro. Or is it this? It's oh, this. it must be the middle thing. Oh, God. oh my gosh, that's so funny because it's different types of Velcro. There like we that. go. All right, I want to hold this up, this strip for takeoff. All right, there we go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good girl. Is that high enough? Oh my god. Once she's like in there, she's like in yeah, there. Yeah, the Velcro is solid. Oh my god. Okay, Peachy. Right. Now we support your bottom because we support you in general. We gotta make this a little bigger for your barrel chest. There we go. And this goes... Through her legs, right? Yeah, where's the tail hole? Oh, it's that. This doesn't... <laughs> it's not made for rat bodies. Look, you can't... Maybe she has to go a little lower because her tail won't go through there. Or is that... It's through. Is that comfortable for you? I don't think any of this is. Is that it? Okay, where's the top part? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wait, is it... It's like... Oh, I'm sweet! Look at you, baby. Hi! 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 How are you doing? Are you oh, is it good? <laughs> is that kind of fun? She's just chilling. Her arms are like dangling now. She's fine. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden, all at once, she just was like, oh, this is fine. Because yeah, she felt supported. Yeah. We love and support you. We love and support <laughs> you, honey. Yeah, we love and support you. How's that feel? You do the belly strap first, right? Oh my God. Pull so the tummy weird. strap across the tummy. Okay. All right, Peach, that stays there. Come here, Bobby. Do you want to do you? Come here. Oh, then. poor Kermit. All you right. gotta wait till the Let's end. Let's take your blast blast off strip off. This, I will say, this is not like a one person job. This is definitely. Especially if you're filming it. <laughs> For sure, but like the way that you have to hold your dog is much better and easier with <laughs> two people. There's a lot of pressure on like lining them up right. There you yeah. go. I'm gonna line you up. Wow, muffle. Okay, tummy strap. She needs to be like up a little higher though. How is it? How do you feel? You guys wanna? Probably you wanna go for a ride, honey? Yeah. Okay. I think there's like a little bit of protest right now, like a, a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay it's okay. okay. Honey, if you're uncomfortable, okay, we're gonna take you out, all right? Why don't we try and drive? I know you're anxious because you wanna go somewhere fun. I know, you guys are being very good. It's a new thing, okay? And we're gonna go for a little ride and see how you guys do, okay? Because right now you look very safe. Yeah, hey, Bob. Mommy, mommy's gonna talk Bob. you through. Here's the thing. 
Sometimes when my dogs are really excited and they know that we're in the car, we're gonna go somewhere, but sometimes if, you know, they're just anticipating going, they're really excited, they wanna just go, and then driving makes them feel like, okay, we're going somewhere, you know, so I'm happy. That was like, you guys were just not used to that sensation and I know that that packet says you do it slowly and incrementally and you get them used to it. You can't expect the dog to just be like, totally cool with sitting like that in a moving vehicle. So this was like not a far drive at all. We were thinking maybe if we're driving that we're excited, we're looking out the windows. That usually makes you guys pretty happy, although you usually cry on the way to wherever we're going anyways. But that that wasn't really a cry. It was more of like a, I'm freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Just a, a little bit of moving and now suddenly everyone is freaking out. I don't want you to think that we subjected them to this for any longer than it took to put them in the seats and then just drive for a little bit. We don't mind the harnesses. I think it was also tough because we, we took on three dogs at the same time for the first time. You have three dogs. I'm not sure that this is possible. Just because it is kind of labor intensive to install them and to get them into the car seat. I think a lot of it has to do with like your dog's willingness to sit like that and if they can be comfortable. And I feel like the Iggy's, like if we did this regularly, like we could probably get them to chill, chill out a little bit, you know? But the question is, do you want them to? Yeah, and Peach freaking Houdini out of the whole How thing. How did you get out of there? Honestly, it's like your body is a noodle. And I do not understand. After all of those straps and clips and everything, how did you get out of that? I think Marble had a hard time in particular because he's definitely, definitely not used to sitting like that. In a car, he's sort of like... I don't know, he needs to be tucked against like a corner or something in order to feel safe. So that was very like exposing for him to sit like that. So that's something, I don't think that you would want to get used to that. But you did really good. You tried, honey. You did. You tried. And I don't think it's for you. But maybe the Iggy's. Except Peach is like, this is what we deal with with the car seat. Like, she just figures out a way to like work around whatever situation she's in and she owes me money and just like finds her way out of paying me back Peach. constantly over and over she's very manipulative Peach, you're in the way it's definitely really heavy and really high quality but that's like the risk that you take when you buy any type of dog product is like is your dog gonna like it and i feel like people that have dogs or even cats that buy cat products or whatever it is it's all just sort of like about your particular pet and if they're gonna like it or respond to it or not and I mean that's that's what we do when we buy things for our pets isn't it so what we do when we build soap beds for our pets isn't it Kermit I can say for sure if you have three dogs that this is you need another person you absolutely need another person I don't think if like Julian was out of town and I was like all right guys let's get in the car that I could realistically do all no of this way. for all three of them yeah. Be it you almost need a second person to hold the dog up while you're strapping them in yeah. anyways yeah. as it is you know also for reference marble makes that like ah, noise in the car as it is whenever we're like almost somewhere or in like driving to somewhere that he's excited about so that noise isn't out of character for him nor was he like choking or anything but um he definitely didn't seem comfortable you can also take this and put it on your chest and use the shoulder straps as like a front okay, we'll definitely use that front pack yeah what do you think, bud? No, I want the bed in the car so I can look out the window, be closest to window, step on brother and sister. Okay, see you guys. This is why you need car seats. Yeah, this is exactly why. Because you think it's so fun to just do whatever you want. <laughs> Peachy, girl. Peachy, Peachy come. what are you doing? You guys are little rats. So as you can see, um, we filmed like that clip of them in the car was about literally like 30 seconds. That's the only time that they were in it in the car and uh, clearly Marble wasn't having the best time. 
Peach somehow managed to get out. That's sort of like when we introduced them to this type of thing, she's gotten out of those, like anything I've put her in, she's gotten out of before. I'm sort of used to her being able to do that. It does definitely scare me a little bit when I see her like on her way out. I'm like, are you gonna hurt yourself? Is everything, are you good? Are you good, girl? Like I said yesterday, this is, I don't think this is for Marble or will ever be for Marble, but I do think because although Peachy wiggled out of hers, she was actually very tolerant and she does like being carried and so does Kerm. So I think maybe today what we could try is just the harness. As part of the purchase, you do get these like shoulder straps. So I think maybe this would be a good way to desensitize her to the actual apparatus and we can work on that. What do you think, Peachy? And you know what? If we could figure out a way how to keep you in there, maybe you'd stop Houdini around the car. Like, you can just get anywhere you want all the time. I don't know how. You have a body made of no bones, girl. How? Do you want to try it? I can get out anything I want. This, does this go like around my crotch? Oh my gosh, I think it does. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 none of that. Girl, where's your tail? Oh, sweet. Wow. Wow, look at you. What do you think? What do you think is sweet? Okay, this is actually really comfortable. This is a lot more comfortable than some other things I've put on my body to hold a dog. That's for sure. You wanna say hi? Hi, worm. Hey, why are you shaped like that? Like, I'm not trying to body shame you, Miss Peach, but why are you shaped like that? like a little ball. Does I feel supportive? Yeah. You like it, baby? This is why I feel like it's a tough product for an Iggy because she is shaped like a little curled up rat, you know? Yeah. What's she doing, bunny? Direct access to all my favorite parts of peach to smell, huh? I think bunny likes this. She's like, her butt's right there so I can smell it as much as I want. What do you think, peachy? Is it fun? I've always wanted like a a front pack for your dog. How does it feel like weight distribution wise? It's, is it comfortable? Yeah, it feels really good. I mean, I'm not sure that this is the way the buckles are supposed to yeah, go. We, we just kind of jimmy rig the sides. I have always wanted a, a front pack for your dog. Like, remember when we treated them like babies for a day? Yeah. And we had like that front pack, like something like that, but forward facing. She looks so cute. Are you baby? You baby. Hi, oh, honey. I feel like this is the way to desensitize them to sitting like this. Yeah, definitely. You know? Definitely. Yeah, you say yesterday I wasn't really into it. Bunny, you want me to put you in one of those on my chest? <laughs> Imagine. She'd just do that thing when she looks. <laughs> what do I look like? An adult that knows what they're doing with their life? Exactly. Thank Tell you. Her to talk to me and my daughter again. Thank you. Do you think you could not wear this as a front pack and wear it as a backpack? You probably could, right? Probably, yeah. Uh... What if I was riding a motorcycle? Okay, that is a bad idea. Why? People do it all the time. I see them all over the internet. People on <laughs> motorcycles with dogs. I thought you were going to say, I see them all over the streets. That too. <laughs> I don't know. See that? that? Do the renegade while you're holding her. No. Are you relaxing? Oh, she's relaxing. You see this? Her feet? We can try it again in the car, but this time, why don't I sit back there with her and make sure, A, that she's not wiggling out of there, might hurt herself, but that she gets some nice pets and reassurance. Good job! Here we go, Peachy. You're looking pretty good. You're definitely much more calm today with someone right next to you, huh? What do you think? You're getting a little sideways. I feel like they, they get a little sideways from the harness twisting, you know, like they're moving inside the harness, which is Velcroed to the back. So then they do this twisting movement. Twist you back into your harness. How's that feel? Is that okay? How's that feel? There she goes. She twisted. So the turns. The turns like twist her entire body. That rounded back. And yeah, they're very round in the back. Okay, so we're fully standing. Are you standing, Peachy? 
should we decide once and for all maybe this this really isn't a great thing for Iggy's? <laughs> Because you're too round. They're like so round in the back. She just like twists it. Whenever you take a turn, yeah. she like flops sideways. That's why Carmen was like <laughs> completely sideways yesterday. <laughs> and just going, <laughs> You like when I'm sitting right here with you though, huh? Yes, everything's better when you're sitting right next to me. Here, you're supposed to be able to just sit and relax. And, oh, okay. What the sunroof sees. POV the sunroof. Well, I mean, this is at least going a lot better than yesterday, and it's nice to see like her get a little more comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay, see that thing that you do with your neck when you push it forward really hard? <laughs> there you go. There you go. product is not really for Iggy's. My legs are too long. They do not dangle. Good girl. Here she is. That was way better than yesterday, Miss Weed. You did really good. Yeah. Well, let's go home. <laughs> Hi, bud. Did you miss us? Hi. Oh, I know. It was really a good try, wouldn't you say? Good effort. Internet, y'all asked, and I tried my best to deliver. If you're looking into, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, there's a big one right here. Come here. Come, how you want to sit? Okay. <laughs> I think that if you're in the market for something like this, it's important to keep your dog's body type in mind, which I did not keep in mind at all. I just figured that they'd sit upright because they do all the time, especially Kermit. But if they have this like large protruding spine and <laughs> bend in a circle, you know, they're probably gonna flop sideways in it. And so I think it's a really good product for a certain type of dog, not all dogs, you know? I think there's plenty of breeds that have that like C shape going on that's just gonna flop them sideways. It's like strapping a banana into a car seat. It is, it's strapping a banana into a car seat. <laughs> right, Laura? But we gave it our best try. Anything to me that has the possibility of keeping your dog safe or happy is totally worth trying. For Marble, I think I would say that he's like genuinely too old to try something. Unless we put him in there and he felt like instantly safe and better, you know, I'd be super happy. So it's always worth it to me to try at least. But he is sort of used to riding in the car in a certain way and feeling safe. So uh, it's probably not ever gonna be a product for Marvel. I don't mind the front pack. I never mind having another way to carry my dogs. And I don't think that they, they really mind that at all. And because I'm not doing sharp turns, yeah, you stay pretty straight. But you're a really good sport for trying, Peach. I would give this product a uh, not for Italian greyhounds out of out of ten. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that are for you, and especially a lot of things that are for kitties that you guys like, because you're a lot more like cats than you are dogs. Yeah, see, like this is just what you guys are used to. I'm not sure that I would call this the safest either. Like even when you're strapped in, you're all like choking each other with your harnesses and walking all over each other. Marble's like up here against the seat. <laughs> like, Good product for me. Not Can't for me out of 10. Thank you, I'm the MKBHD of dogs. You filmed this whole video like he films his, right? Yeah, just like with a, like 100K less worth of gear. Babe, how are we ever gonna be the MKBHD of dogs? I need new equipment. I need a big budget. Get a red camera to film this or else I'm leaving. Yeah, yeah that's it. I don't know, just something different. I just wanted to try a dog product. So many of you guys asked and uh, I think it's definitely worth a review. Wouldn't you say so? Mm -hmm. And I haven't really seen a lot of other people try this product out. I think the price point is definitely a hindrance to that. It is an expensive product. It's what, like $150? Yeah. Like the price point definitely is a reason for people to be like, I don't know if I wanna buy that. So it is a high price. Oh, you okay. just like any car seat that lets you kiss marble, huh? Marble, you're gonna fall out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on a visa Wednesday slash Thursday. You done, bud? All right. Why don't you guys go? You guys know we have like a couch, right? <laughs>
I love you guys, and I love being a grown lady that spends my money on dog products. I'll buy you anything you want with Peach's money when she gets behind. <laughs> Spend your money on me. <laughs> waste your money on me. Yes, I love when you waste your money on me. It's my love language. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.